Heather Shapiro and Tricia Snisky lost their sister Jennifer Brown when she was brutally murdered. Since then, they've been living through their own story of crime and punishment. It began in September of 2012, when 40-year-old Jennifer, who was single but loved children, decided to move to Qatar, a small Arab country in the Middle East, to teach pre-kindergarten. Brown knew no one there, but she was determined to take the job. Their sister had been living in Qatar for just two months when their father called Heather at home. Jennifer Brown had been stabbed to death in her apartment. A Kenyan security guard at her building was arrested and reportedly confessed. His trial would take place in the Qatari capital of Doha, nearly 7,000 miles away from her family home in Pennsylvania. It didn't get any easier. The trial dragged on for months. And then just a few weeks ago, Jennifer Brown's family learned a Qatari judge wanted them to help decide the man's punishment. They were told their options included giving him a shorter sentence in exchange for blood money, a payment of $56,000 from the man's family. The next question was harder to answer, whether he should get the death penalty. She says her father did, too, but ultimately their Catholic faith and their own belief system won out. The family asked for life in prison for Jennifer's murderer. Jennifer Brown's body now rests at the parish cemetery in her hometown. Her sisters visit her often and believe Jennifer would have agreed with the decision to spare the life of the man who took hers.